What up you weirdos, Fever here. How's everyone doing today? When Beyond Light dropped, we were given a somewhat clear path to farm for exotics with the new Legend and Master Lost Sectors on rotation. Which is actually a fantastic idea, so thank you for that Bungie. The Lost Sectors are on a daily rotation and seem to always have the same modifiers depending on which one it is and difficulty. I've been working on a walkthrough for both versions of them all as a reference in case anyone needs it. So today, we're going to cover the 1280 Master Lost Sector, Valis Labyrinth. This is probably one of the easiest to complete, but it's also one of the buggiest as well. So far, I've had barrier champions get stuck in walls, thrall disappear and reappear right in front of me, and adds just standing still for no random reason besides to freak me out because I don't know what they're doing and I don't like it. But besides all that, it's still fairly easy to complete, as long as you respect the champions and how much damage they can do. I have done this on all three characters, with nothing too specific except what's available on the seasonal artifact. But when I did run through it on my Titan, I forgot to remove some Charge with Light mods, which you'll see in some of the background gameplay. You will need anti-barrier and unstoppable rounds for this one, and the only shields I found were solar on the wizards. I used a random pulse rifle from Barracks for the anti-barrier, and the ancient gospel solar hand cannon from the Garden of Salvation. For the heavy, I used Anarchy, but I can't help but think maybe a rocket launcher would work better for some of these anti-barrier champions, because of the burst damage they can do. Some other good choices for weapons would be the Ariana's Vow, Wither Horde, maybe the No Time to Explain, there is the Stars and Shadow Solar Pulse Rifle, Xenophage, Bad Omens, and maybe the Lament, but you have to be careful with getting that close to the champions, especially when using a sword. I don't want to give you bad information, but technically you can kill the Ogres without unstoppable rounds, but that's only because of the layout in this lost sector. You can go places where the unstoppables can't in here, so keep that in mind if you're limited on weapons. When you first spawn in, you will be greeted with a maze, sort of. To me this was the trickiest part because it seems some of the adds like to randomly run around, and you don't want to get pinched in between two thrall. There is a barrier champion that appears, and you can skip it if you want, but be careful. I tried to skip it one time because I couldn't find where he ran off to, and I was fighting an unstoppable ogre. He snuck up behind me. Needless to say, I died. Once you make it through the maze, there will be the unstoppable ogre I was talking about, and some acolytes who don't seem to miss with their little fireball. Greg's cousin is too chunky to fit in the tunnel, so you don't have to worry about that, but the acolytes sometimes come in there, so watch yourself. After you make it through the first ogre, there will be a barrier champion on the platforms up top. It'll just be the champion and a few acolytes, but once you step foot close to the top platform, a bunch of thrall come from the other side and jump across the gap, so be careful. I got bamboozled that way. After you cross the gap from the platforms, there will be another unstoppable ogre just chilling behind the pillar, along with a wizard further back. Once you kill the ogre, the wizard with the solar shield will just be floating there, pondering its life choices I guess. When you kill it, the boss encounter starts. My best advice for the boss is to stay back and clear all the adds first, because for every segment of its health bar you take down, another wave of adds spawn, which includes a ton of cursed thrall and two unstoppable ogres. If you get in trouble with the ogres, you can backpedal and drop off the side where you first came out the maze portion. Also, if you're not comfortable with being that close to the ogres, you could always go back to the other side and chip away at their health. It almost seems like the champions are harder than the actual boss, so if you made it this far, you're good. And like I tell you in all my videos, just take your time and be patient. I have done some of these lost sectors way under leveled, so if I can do it, I know for a fact you can. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, don't forget to like and subscribe, but more importantly, above everything else, just be a good person to one another, and have a fantastic day. Thank you.